Are you tired of your cake stream looking like the back of a McDonald's dumpster? Ooh. Lucky for you in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add cool looking overlays to your kick stream. And I'll show you two different methods, both including free and paid versions, so that way you're gonna have a ton of choices to pick from. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a quick like on the video so other kick streamers can find this video, and let's get started. By the way, this will work for OBS Studio, Streamlabs, literally whatever the heck you wanna use. So the first method, we're gonna be using a tool called OwnPro, which I'll leave in the description down below. And they also sponsored today's video so I don't have to eat out of the McDonald's dumpster this week. So once you're on this page, you can either click on join for free at the bottom or click on the login button at the top. So we'll click on join for free. Now this is the part where people get tripped up because right now they don't have kick integration directly. So you're going to have to make a free Twitch account just to get access to the overlays. So make a free Twitch account, log in with that free Twitch account just so we can get inside of own pro so we can take advantage of those free overlays and I'll see you in the inside. So once you've made a Twitch account and you're logged in, you should be brought to the dashboard over here. But if you don't see this, you can go to the top left corner where it says dashboard, simply click on that and you'll be brought here. As you can see, they already tease you with a bunch of these different overlay packages here. But what we actually want to do is go over to the scene builder in the top left corner here and then click on that. Since we don't like long or hard things, then what we're going to do is click on the left hand side where it says beginner complete setup. So we're going to click that button. We also want an automatic selection because we want everything done for us. So we're gonna click on that option as well. And we'll be brought to this library. Now they do have a free version, which is these five right here. So you can pick one of these five options, but you can also upgrade your plan. And if you upgrade your plan, then you'll get access to hundreds of different overlays, which you can go through here. There's literally so many cool ones to choose from, and you can easily switch between these at any time that you'd like. So if you wanna upgrade, you can do that. But for this video, we're gonna use the free route so everyone can participate whether they're balling on a budget or not. So I'm gonna go with the Chroma series one. So I'm gonna click on Chroma. It's gonna give you a little animated preview of what to expect in this little overlay package, which you can feel free to take advantage of for the other packages. And once you find one that you like, you can simply hit this Create Scenes button. So I'm gonna click on Create Scenes. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds to load everything in because we chose the lazy route. It's gonna import all of the hard work for us now. And you can see that we have a bunch of different scenes now. So we have our starting soon scene, ending scene, BRB scene an overlay scene, as well as like a just chatting scene. So we'll start with the starting soon screen, which I will click here just to click on the edit and it will open our starting soon screen. Everything is automatically imported here, which is great. They even have an alert box here. However, as I mentioned earlier, they do not have direct kick integration as of recording this video. They might have it in the future. So keep an eye on that pinned comment down below. So since there's no kick integration, if you wanna add alert boxes or if you wanna add recent followers, you're gonna have to use Botrix to do that. And you can watch the video in the top right corner after this video in order to set that up. So to keep things clean and simple, I'm gonna click on alert box over here and then hit that little trash can to delete it because it's not gonna apply to us. But what we can do is double click on these little options here and put in our username for those socials. Or let's say that you don't even have an Instagram or don't even want these. You can just click on it, press the delete key and boom, it's gone. So you don't even have to have these if you don't want. You can also customize them by clicking on them and going into these little folders and you can go and change the image, the graphics. You can do a bunch of customization settings here, but to keep things super duper simple, I'm just gonna delete them all, but you can obviously feel free to mess around with it if you want. So we got this really cool starting soon screen. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the top and we're gonna hit save. You always wanna make sure you're saving and you can see this little green part in the top left corner indicating that it has saved. So just, you know, spam clip that a couple times. You don't wanna accidentally not save your work, right? So after that, we're gonna click the copy overlay URL button up here and we're gonna choose the complete scene option. I'll go over the other options later, but for this option, we're gonna choose complete scene going to copy that overlay URL and now we can go into our streaming software. So you can use OBS Studio, Streamlabs, literally whatever the heck you want. So I'm going to use OBS Studio since that's what majority people use. Now this is a brand new OBS scene so there's nothing going on here whatsoever. So we need to spice that up like the little Salt Bay guy. So what we're going to do is go down to sources. We're going to add a new source. You can also do this in Streamlabs, same process. We're going to go to browser source. I'm going to call it starting soon just so we know what the heck it is. We can hit OK, and then we're going to paste in that URL that we copied, change the width to 1920 and height by 1080. Now, once we do that, we're going to hit OK, give it a couple seconds to load. And drum roll, please, there's our new animated starting soon screen, and it was completely free as well. But let's say we want to have a gameplay scene now. Well, we can go and add a new scene in the bottom left corner. So click add. 
And then we're just going to call this, uh, let's do game. Actually, let's make a just chatting scene. You can honestly use this next scene I'm about to show you for either instance. So I feel like this will be a great way to teach you guys how everything works. So let's go back to OwnPro. So now that we're back in OwnPro, I'm going to go to the top left corner and go this little back button here. So back to overview, give it a couple seconds to load. We're going to go back into our Chroma folder. So I'm going to click on that. And then let's go to the talking scene, talking. So you could do the overlay scene here, but you could also do this, but you can use the same principles I'm about to show you in this for the other scene. So not just to waste your time or anything. So we'll keep it simple. We're gonna go and just do the talking scene because there's more things to work on for that. And as you can see here, it's automatically imported all of my different streamer tags, but you gotta keep in mind, this is for my Twitch account and not my kick account. So since it doesn't have kick integration yet, these obviously are not accurate as terms of kick. So what you can do is either just click on it and delete it and delete it and delete it and delete it. Or if you wanted to keep bring them back, you could hold control Z to undo it. And what you could do is let's say latest sub, we'll go to the subscriber folder in the top left. And then where it says label, we will actually just go and delete that label. Or I guess technically I don't see a delete button. So I'm just going to hit the little hide button and it's going to hide that little label. So then if you wanted to add your recent sub, you'd have to use a tool like Botrix, like I mentioned earlier. And then once you import this scene into OBS Studio, then you'll add that other browser source of the latest subscriber tag, and you'll overlay it onto this little thing here. But I'll go more on that later. So just to keep things super duper simple, I'm just gonna delete all of these except for latest sub and latest follower. I'm also gonna get rid of that little label that we have here, cause it's not accurate for us. I'm just gonna hide it. I'll just leave these two here and we'll keep going. So this is the live chat as well. We're gonna wanna go into that folder and since there's no kick integration yet, I'm gonna delete that little live chat or in this case, I'm just gonna hide it. So I'm just gonna leave that blank and then we can go and add our gameplay and everything here. So that'll be fine. And then we'll add our little webcam here. So now that we have this laid out to how we want it, we're gonna hit the save button in the top right corner and then we'll go to copy overlay URL button. And this is where we're gonna take advantage of the foreground and background because we're gonna have to sandwich our webcam in between these little like this little border here and the background. And we're gonna wanna sandwich our little gameplay scene or computer screen in this little like rectangle here. So we're gonna first copy the background right here. So copy that overlay URL and let's go back to our streaming software. Now, since we're under our new scene here, we're gonna add a new source. I'm gonna call it browser. We'll call it chatting background just to know what it is. And then we'll hit okay. We're gonna paste in that URL we just copied. Same thing, 1920 by 1080. Then we're gonna hit okay. Give that a second or two to pop up. And this will be our background for it. So as you can see, there's only a couple things here, but that's okay because we wanna add our gameplay and we wanna add our webcam right here. So what we'll do, for instance, I will add my webcam by adding a new source. We'll add a video capture device. We'll call this webcam, hit okay. I'm gonna choose my crappy integrated camera because I'm using my other ones for the YouTube video. So now that I have my crappy integrated webcam, I'm gonna hit okay. I'm going to drag it as close as I can into this little rectangle. And if you need to trim it, you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and drag the sides to trim it. I don't think I need to for this. You can also adjust the sizes by using the corners, but this is okay for now. And now let's add our little screen capture here. So I'm gonna hit plus. And if you want, you can use a game capture or you know a window capture or a display capture. It's really up to you. I go more in depth into that in my giant OBS Studio streaming tutorial, which you can watch in the top right corner as well. So for this instance, I'm just gonna use a display capture and I'm gonna capture my capture of my capture, which is gonna be really kind of like a, a mind trick on you. So what I'm gonna do is change my monitor to my laptop right there. That's not my laptop. Where's my laptop? There we go. I, had, I think I had it right the first time. Regardless, doesn't matter. So this is Streamlabs, which I'm recording in right now. Let's just say that's my gameplay, but I don't have a game running right now because I'm lazy and I just want to get this out to you guys ASAP. And then also, if you want, you can use the arrow keys to just very, very slightly nudge where to move it. But both of these look pretty good. So now we can go back to Ohm Pro to put the foreground scene in. So now we're back in Ohm Pro. We're gonna copy the foreground URL, then go back to OBS. Now we're gonna add a new source, a browser source. We'll call it chatting foreground. Hit enter, paste in the URL. And then width is once again, 1920 by 1080. Hit okay. 
give it a second to load and watch the magic happen and wait for it there we go so now that all looks good obviously my webcam is peeking out a little bit there so i want to click on the webcam source here kind of fix that i can use the arrows if it'll work okay maybe not i'm just going to drag it a little bit nope all right so if this happens to you go to the chatting foreground hit the lock key and the background lock key that way you can only mess around with these and it's not gonna you know move the other stuff around while you're messing with it so that looks pretty spot on same with that so i can't really complain about it if you want you can go and fine tune a little bit more but for the purposes of this video, it's pretty solid. But just make sure that your foreground is at the top of everything, because if I bring it all the way down, it's going to be hidden behind the other stuff. So we'll go ahead and do why am I really getting a phone call right now? Can you guys hear that? Someone really going to call me right now? Better be important. So I'm going to make sure the foreground is at the top. I'm going to make sure the background is at the very bottom and everything is in between. So like I mentioned earlier, if you want to add your little stream label for latest sub and latest follower, you'll use Botrix and they'll give you little overlay URLs that you can pop in as browser sources. And you can pop them into your streaming software just like we did here with the browser source. And you'll drag it right into these little slots here. And same with your chat as well. So there's plenty of videos showing you exactly how to add those to your stream. It's in my kick streaming playlist. So it'll be in the top right corner as well, which you can check out after this video. So this was all just option number one. I know there's a second option, right? So there's a lot of options in case you don't want to go this route. So the second option is either making it yourself or paying someone to give you the raw files, because obviously we don't have access to the raw files here. So certain customization and things is going to be limited. So if you want, you can either hire someone on Fiverr or you you can buy one at own's other branch at own.tv which i'll also leave linked down below and it looks a little something like this so that way you can actually go down to their stream design bestseller packages you can scroll through all the hundreds and hundreds of ones you have here so obviously you're gonna have to pay for these uh but i will say if you do buy one like the celtic pack you'll get access to all of the individual raw files so that way you can import them directly into OBS. You can also make them yourself, but obviously it's a little more complicated if you wanna make your own animated overlays. So that's why I leave it up to the professionals. But let's say you made something in Photoshop or paint and you just have like a static screen, then let me show you how to do that. So you have a couple different options. If you make one yourself and it's a static image, then you'll have to add it as an image source. Now, if you have an animated overlay pack that you bought from own.tv, you'll have to add it as a media source because it's animated versus static. So I'll show you how to import both of them. We'll start with the media source, so the animated one. So we're gonna add a new media source. Let's just call it starting soon animated, then hit okay. I went ahead and I got the dark mode series package from own.tv. So I'm gonna browse to the folder that I downloaded from them. So I got my package right here, the dark mode series premium, and then we're gonna hit files. Then we're going to go to animated. Where is it? Animated. I think it's intermission banner. So we'll click on that and wait for it. That's ending, pause, and starting. So I'm going to choose the starting blank, hit open. And now it's going to give us the animated image as soon as we hit OK. But we want to make sure we loop it first. Otherwise, it's going to play an end, which we don't want that to happen. So we're going to hit OK. And then now we have the actual raw file playing inside OBS, which gives us a lot more control. So obviously then you can go and piece out and add your animated webcam overlay and anything else that's animated. You'll do the same exact process, add a new media source and you just name it whatever it actually is. But let's say that you've made your own and it's static or you, you got it from somewhere else and it doesn't move around like this animated one does. Well, instead of adding it as a media source, you're going to add it as an image source. So we'll just one and call this starting soon screen. I know I don't know what just came out of my mouth, but let's just ignore that. So we'll hit OK, and then we're going to go and navigate to wherever that file is. So I'm going to hit Browse. I'm going to go to wherever you got it from. So if you hired someone to make it, you made it yourself. You're going to add the static image here. So double click that, hit OK, and you have the same thing. So if you want to add your starting soon screen or your webcam overlay, the rule of thumb is if it doesn't move around and it's not animated and it's a JPEG or PNG, you're going to add that as an image source. But if it's moving around and it's an animated media file, you're going to add it as a media source. So with that being said, continue watching this kick playlist next to me. It shows you everything that you need to know about kick streaming. So give it a watch. My name's Cody and I will see you in the next one.